All right. So welcome everyone to a lovely another night of Murder Month, where we're going to be looking at some rather bloody games. And trust me when I say they're not going to be getting much bloodier than this. It's going to be I'm going to be hard pressed to find a game next week that'll be on par or better than this one. Short of getting a game between two pros who just got drunk and began playing. But that's okay. That's okay. So today, as you can see, we have two Chinese professional nine dons playing each other. And the reason I picked this game first will quickly become readily apparent. Least hit a ladder game? Mm, nah, I already did it. I already did it. I'm trying to find games mostly from like the last year. So at least it'll ladder game, not quite so much. Though I did have that on my real board, so if you're interested in seeing it, you can go look at it, it's on my channel. All right, so the game starts off in the upper right-hand corner and continues in the upper left-hand corner because pros always invite all the things. You wanna go diagonal, you can go diagonal. I don't even care. Dual three, four stones for white, so, or sorry, for black. So we could play a bit of a territorial game. Territorial games usually are nice. They can go aggressive, but then again, so can influential games. So you really don't know how it's going to go. Uh, reason why influential games tend to tend to go, you know, all uh, fighty is because someone gets a lot of something, the other person says no, and then fight break out. Here we have three fours all over the place. Now we must always find which corner to approach. And there's no singular answer here. The bottom left 3-4 stone from white faces black, but the upper right black faces uh, white. So we prioritize one of those. We're either going to be playing here, 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 or here. C4 is invite to approach. We're probably not going to be pincering that high gut. Continuing onwards. Black sides to enclose the upper right, seeing if white is going to do the same thing. And then he has sent it to continue onwards. Instead, white approaches low, inviting the pincer, the very, very wide pincer from his opponent. Now, although that would be completely fine to do, black says, I am not going to do that. I'm going to approach you back and we're going to get a little bit violent. Question is, does white want to dodge that violence? If he does, he could back off into a little bit of a base here. That'd be completely fine. Uh, he could go into a move like d5, back off into a Kasumi. That'd be, that'd be pretty non-violent too. But I'd be very, very surprised if nowadays we saw something uh, like that diagonal move here. Instead, we see a pincer. Looks like he wants to get a little bit violent. Black just chooses to get a bit of a wall, maybe do some settling here, because there's a lot of Jiseki in which you can go ahead and do that. But again, white decides to play the aggressive variation. So right away, we've got some very odd behavior out of white. It seems like he's not trying to play a passive game. Seems that this little guy, he wants to get violent. He wants to throw down maybe even kill some things. But that's okay. Black's on board. Rather than play a simple Jiseki where everyone gets to settle, putting max pressure on the corner. Now this is going to be very weird to many people. Because ideally here, you'd want to play a shape move. Can anyone tell me what the shape move is? Haiga says the shape move is d7. Yeah, yeah, here, yeah, yeah. play d7, and then maybe we can go and, yeah, exactly. Combat flaps, lost jack, crazy Irish penguin in Twitch chat, TMTVL, almost. Uh, yeah, d7, d7. That'd be the shape move. Black has other ideas. We do not usually Atari the Cutting Stone. This is inviting rather questionable things 
to our stones. But he wants to split white up into more groups. So a target we shall. We now have three areas of interest for white, arguably two for black, right? One and two versus A, B, C. So, okay, okay, okay. Can see where we're going with this. Does not want to have life problems. Remaining nice and strong. Just living in that corner. Black strengthening and defending his cutting points. Looks like black is getting the better end of this deal. But we cannot give up our cutting stones. They are really important. So we extend out. Where white resumes attacking by surrounding the bottom. Oops, I'm sorry, I misclicked. Doot, 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 that wouldn't make any sense. There we go, now we're surrounding. Yeah, how is that a surround when you can actually just leave? That ain't a surround. Or we could just leave this way, right? I mean, that's that's not a surround. That is that is the opposite of a surround. Yes, move, moves matter here. There we go, that's the surround. I thought something looked off for a minute there. So there we go. We're being surrounded, which means black needs to make life. Does not allow the push and the cut. Now we're being kept low. But white isn't about getting influenced this game. White is about attacking this game. So white throws down over here, looking to ask the question, can I push and cut you? Black says, go for it. Now he didn't say go for it because it doesn't work. It absolutely does. It's just that black is done playing white's game. Because if we play white's game, we might even get something like this in. And then that's a reality. Where we have no base, where we have no shape, and we are clearly under attack in the center of the board. White's like, no. No, 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 you're not going to be the attacker here. You're not going to be the killer. You're not going to murder me here. I'm getting away. So black gets away. White comes in, gobbles up them stones, black is settling, and Mr. Murderer goes after group number two. Group number two. He is not going to just respond to approaches or whatever. He's going to keep the pressure on. He is going to absolutely keep that pressure on, right? So here we go. We are now keeping the pressure on. Forcing an escaper. Grabbing a base. Even murderers care about bases. Gotta come out. Surrounding the corner, threatening to kill that off next. We're just going after all the things. Black better win this in the end. Mm -hmm. Can understand that suggestion. All this due to F5. What's F5? What's F5? 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 F5. Ooh, yeah, that one. Yeah, this is uh, this is quite the aggressive variation that was picked. And it wasn't F5 that started it. It was C5 that started it there, Haiga. Kills off one stone to settle. White's like, he 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 he. Thanks for your corner, Mr. Dead Man. Black's like, okay, that's fine. 
That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I got this. Just gonna do some expanding, attack your corner lightly. We're not trying to kill anything, I'm in a good mood. But you know, we usually expand one way and one way only nowadays, and that is gain strength from something that's already strong in order to profit. So how would we do that on this board? So a lot of people want to probably play here, right? But what's a better way of doing that? Haika's got a good suggestion that Twitch can't can't see. Let's see if anyone else gets it. Q6. It's a shoulder hit. That's close enough. That's good. I like it. Red Like a Book is also down with R6. So is Creakers. Yep. Haika, they like your suggestion. Yeah, we're going to attach the corner. We're immediately telling our opponent, you can take our life, but you will never take our freedom. White says, want to bet? You can't run anywhere now. All right, we are no longer free to get a comfortable base. But neither is he. So we have a fight brewing. White is threatening to get a massive amount here. White is trying to get a massive amount here. Black makes white heavy and seeks that glorious base. Looks like we're getting it, but remember, white is all about attacking. Do you think he's going to defend himself for more than one or two moves? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. White wants to kill you. So he says, I'm going to wreck this whole area. You don't get a base. You going to die. That's what you going to do. You going to die. Black says, no, 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 no. You aren't trying to kill me. I'm going to try to kill you. Where is your stone going? Moves to separate rather than escape. So here's the thing now. If we make this group stronger, we can maybe go back and kill off these stones because there'll be a lot here that Black ha that White has to worry about, right? Got a plan. So here we go. Time to realize the plan. Time to realize the plan. White knows the plan because he's a murderer too. He knows all about that whole distract them thing. That way you can, you know, get stronger and kill them. The whole trying to pretend you're not really interested in the group that you really want to kill. No, 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 no. We're, he knows what happens when people start attaching elsewhere. And he's not falling for it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Forcing move. Whoops. Misclick. Black cuts through. White says, that doesn't matter. Look at your cut point, stupid. I'ma kill you. A glorious, glorious shape point that comes up so often. Comes up so very often. You gotta love it. But it's okay, because we can, you know, we can kill up the two stones. Try to connect underneath. Black says no joy. Black still says no joy. Two liberties, bottom of the board. He's not going to just take and allow his opponent to do this. And then uh, this, I guess. 
Like, we're not going to live and let live. No, 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 no. We're dropping and disconnecting that fool. And now we're going to try to murder him. But Black, there are legends about Black. Rumor has it, he's the fastest gun in China. He's a fast murderer. You try to kill him, he don't fall for your shenanigans. He just kills you. Take away the liberty, and it's all over, folks. Because we can't drop down. That's an Atari. We can't Atari. We just drop down. We'll never get to play it. So White resigns. GG. Game over. Also, uh, this lovely little stone at N3 would also suck. So, yeah, game over on game one. Yeah, game ends right here. White resigns, black wins. That's what happens when you just, that's the life of a murderer. Sometimes you get to kill, but if you press your luck, your victims can fight back. Let that be a lesson to all would-be murderers. And this game is from the 43rd Japanese Meijin Preliminary. Game begins in similar fashion to the other. Upper right hand corner taken. Upper left hand corner offered. Which one you want to do? You want to diagonal me? I'll throw down. The reason why they do that is diagonal openings usually favor territorial, which means having Komi and playing a territorial game as white generally is pretty good. So they usually regard the diagonal as being a little bit better for uh, white than black, therefore white usually invites it. Now that's kind of like at a professional level, I do want to point out that right away. Um, for us amateurs, Komi is not always a great thing to rely on because our, a lot of our games end in resignation, we do stupid things, we get killed, so not as sexy uh, for us as it is for pros. But all right, Shibano takes four, four, three, four. Cho Chikun does likewise. Throwing down high, seeing what uh, Shibano wants to do. Shibano says, I want territory? That's not the Shibano we've known and loved. This is, this is an imposter. This is an imposter. This can't be Shibano. Hmm. Plays high because he's uh, ready to approach and build something. Maybe he does want to play a bit influential. Maybe this is maybe maybe this is Shibano. We'll wait around and see. Now, if you think that Black is going to play uh, the Jiseki out, you're wrong because they never do that. They like playing faster. They like uh, creating Aji things like that. So, to that end, we could see a c14 approach, but we don't see that either here. Instead, Chochikun approaches upper right-hand corner. No c8? No. We don't see uh, that move right now, sorry. White backs off. No reason to pincer because his opponent owes him moves still. And there are large points on the board. Takes the base. So far, bit territorial for good old Shibano. Um, Shibano, for those of you who maybe this is your first time interacting or seeing, sorry, uh, his games, he's usually more influential oriented than this territorial thing. Very, very odd. Black sides to settle. Ensures that d18 can't be taken for white, which is a normal response when we play this opening. 
Here's where we can go influential if white wants to. And if black offers, we could cut this and get some influence here. But no, black denies. So all right, we're just getting the base and some shape while black gets the influence. Hmm. Hmm. Very odd, very odd. But at least white shape is pretty strong. Probing the small knight, asking the simple question, can I cut you? White asks the exact same question. Black says no, white says no. This exchange is interesting because it means because it means that we can cut here later on and maybe get uh, B6 in Sente. Don't have to be as afraid of invasions here as a result. But for now, just got some development by uh, Black. Nice, peaceful game. I do not have the names backwards. Shibano is white and Chochukun is black. R17, new. We are instead going to lean and develop because we can, we've got potential down the bottom of the board, remember. And we can keep black low from above. So if we're going to develop influence here as white, it's probably going to be from here. Now, I do want to emphasize this right now because a lot of players like almost all of the ones that I've been playing lately, amateurs, as what I'm I'm essentially just saying amateurs, uh, would drop their shit and go and invade the crap out of this right now. The problem with doing that is you become, as I've been saying a lot on stream lately, the party of no, and you don't want to be the party of no. You can't just run around all game trying to keep your opponent from getting things because that means you have nothing. If all you can do is say, don't have this, don't have this, don't have this, then never throughout the game have you said, I want this. I'm developing that. So your points don't increase. And at that point, no good. No good. If you never try to develop anything, you don't get territory and you lose. Sorry, just the way it works. So, I do want to... Int I do want to show you, I do want to like point out that this is really nice because we're developing. We're doing something. We're going somewhere. We could say, I'm Shibano and I approve this message. All right, so we're building. Basic Jaseki in lower hand corner into some development. Look at that. Isn't that cray cray? We're actually building up something with ourselves. Cool. Black says, I'd be reducing you a little bit. White says, go die in a fire. Old man. You can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me what I can develop. I can keep you low on left hand side too. Now, this is where things start to get a little bit, a little bit uh, aggressive because white is threatening to develop a lot right like do we respond here like we've got an invasion point there still and white can lean on us do we fix our shape do we start reducing do we build something for ourselves Is this really this big? Yes, actually it is, because this is a new sector line. Can't be Q7. You can Q7, and then you'll probably get double Hane to 8th line territory. Maybe ninth, while there's an invasion on the right-hand side. So we have to be careful. We could try going down that path. We have to be very careful of the territory that we're giving away, and the territory we can get if we want to do that there, Haiga. Remember, good invasion of uh, good defense against the invasion is ensure it can't connect up in the first place. So we go hunt for Aji. And here we go. Look at the Aji we're getting. So that looks pretty defended. And then Black super duper defends it. Hmm. 
guess that means good old Shibano over here. He can keep on building. All right, all right. But you know, there comes a time in everyone's life when you gotta draw a line in the sand and say, you know what there, son? Enough's enough. In my day, we didn't try and take eighth line territory as if you were playing an amateur. My name's not Dwyer and you can't get away with that against me. So Cho asks the question, you feeling lucky? Deep invasion. Why can we do it? Well, we have Aji here. We've got forcing moves there. That's a small knight. Two small knights, remember? Small knights have Aji. So with this Aji in place, we might as well ask the question. So what are you thinking about there, Shibano? Shibano says, I strunk. Where are you going now, Cho? Leaning towards those small knights. But you know what? Shibano understands. He's got, he's pretty young, but he's got some experience on his hands. He's got some experience on his hands. He knows we can't just respond to our opponent. So we're going to reduce back and make the game delightfully complicated. Love the guesses in chat. So we're going to go reduce him. He's trying to reduce us. We'll reduce him back and see which gunslinger really rules the day. Because, I mean, Cho Chikun, he's got to be past his prime, right? Not exactly the quick draw he used to be. I think Shibano might have him dead to rights. Surrounding... Surrounding the little upstart, forcing him to run off. Trying to invite him to in to cut him so he can get stronger and get nice shape. Doesn't cut, but threatens to. Going after his shape point. Going right for the eyes. This is now getting kind of a scrappy game. When they start clawing at each other's eyes, you know things have just gotten real. Time to escape. Time to escape. Black takes a moment to get solid territory. Now, what's interesting about this is the way white has been running. Have you noticed it yet? He's constantly running with small knights. Notice that yet? Notice that? Small ones can be cut though. Isn't that a little weird? Ain't that a little weird? I. Th it, mm, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. But giving your opponent Sente, especially of someone like Shibano, who is all about that influence, he's going to find a way to keep building that influence. So he's just going to shoulder hit you and be like, um, if it's okay with you, can I like develop onto the 13th line? Can I like just like develop all of that? Is it good? I'm sure it's good for you. Responds, because we always respond to shoulder hits. Come on, we're not heathens. Trying to lock this out. Hey, maybe we can get a wall here and get up to the 5th line in terms of influence. 
Got all right. Got the clamp. That's great. Which means things like this are uh, co-threats. Maybe we maybe we need them. Maybe we don't. But for now, it's time to force Black into life because you can see what we're getting here. We're going after all them things in that center. Shibano is an amazing person. Love this style of play. Black's getting some shape. But all right, we're building. Black says, I connect. White says, so what? I'm going to build everything. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? Look at my building. Going to get all the forcing moves. You're just going to suck. While I build to the 14th line. Ah, uh, D18 is not completely live, that's true, but I mean, you would have to be tripping on something in order to imagine that D18 is going to die. That's not going to happen. What are the odds? Pokes to cut through. Saves. Controlled reduction. We're getting shape and pushing him into an overconcentrated shape. White connects up, inviting it? How odd. White black decides to enclose. Asks white, are, are you alive here? White says, I am. Black says, prove it. It's like, I'll show you, I'm alive. Just like so, we see life from both parties, though white had to give up some stuff in order to uh, not be completely surrounded. But that means that glorious middle we were all loving in the middle of the board? <sighs> it's getting destroyed. Shibano, you're getting destroyed, my man. Black backs off. White is apparently now just playing for territory while he gets surrounded on top of the board. Ah, so sad. And now we are completely surrounded. So white extends. Can we kill the top of the board? Probably not, but we can try it anyway. There's our attempt. Looks like it's fine. Maybe we can enclose the top or something. Black strikes back saying, what are you doing? giving me a weak point to peep at while you're not alive. Have you lost your damn mind? White says, do it, I dare ya. I don't think you got it in you to kill me. Old man. Black goes for it. Goes for the entire top of the board. All the things. All the things. Counterattacks by trying to kill off R17. Maybe. Maybe we're going to be okay here. All right. Maybe we can force the capture on here and get our eye shape. Maybe. Maybe. Looks like we're getting something here. But black is not relenting. He's like, I'm not, I don't care. What are you going to do? Go to co on me? I don't care. I'm going to kill you. Cho could, for example, it's been around for a very long time. 
It's not a good idea. To taunt him. He's played way too many games against professionals where he's he sometimes killed his share of stones. It's not a good idea to assume that Cho's just gonna wuss out and be yellow and not try to kill your group that you're offering to him. Cho ain't chicken after all. So we have a nice group here trying to live. Come on, let's see it. Let's see that life. Remaining connected, remaining connected. Everything love, everything's good. Everything's good. Trying to enclose. Asks, where are your eyes? Where are dem eyes? Where are dem eyes? Can I save this group? No. Can I do something here? No. Can I do something here? No. Maybe I can cut through? No. Cho's not being distracted. Not when his meal is right in front of him. He knows he's trying to get this cutting in to go after this group. It ain't working. But it's okay. We've got a lot we've got a living we've got a living guy here. It's fine, right? Or is it? Or is it? Where are our eyes? Where are our eyes? It's a good question. Connects. You can see what's happening here in the middle of the board. He's getting able, he, oh, Shivano's found a way to cut off black. Asking the question, can I, just let me go, man. Just let me go. You don't have to do this, Cho. It's, you don't have to, you don't have to be a murderer. You can resist. Just let me connect up. But Cho says no. Absolutely not. All right, then. We're going all in for it. We are now in a capture race. Force in the take. Get rid of them liberties. White says, can I run this out to save myself? Black says, ha 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 ha, no. Well, what about this? Can I, can I do something here to get a liberty shortage and kill you? No. It's like, well, can I cut through here and do something that way and kill you? Black says, no. White says, Are you sure I can't do that? Black says, no. He's like, well, I think I've just surrounded you then. I've just surrounded you then. We're now in a capture race. We're now in a capture race. And B has just lost a bunch of liberties, but... He's got potential here, doesn't he? Little bits, little bits, maybe a connection, huh, huh, huh? All right, he's connected. The middle's not gonna die. 
So what about the top? Time to resume the liberty race. Or capture race, rather. Not a lot of liberties for our hero. Gotta kill. Gotta kill. Ain't no two ways about it, man. We are in a capture race. There you go, the capture race. White says, that's fine. Here are my threats. I got some threats for you. It's not large enough. Down goes Shibano. So many stones, 35 captures now, four black. But the Hane kills off the corner. Giving over to white. Trying to fix some shapes here. White ain't having that. This is part of his territory. How are you gonna play it out, sir? Looks like we're getting two eyes down here. Connects on up for max safety. Forces a response by Wa Black. Looks like we're getting two eyes here. Now we're going off into endgame. It looks like. But not before we try one more invasion. This invasion is huge. This invasion lives and all of Black White's hopes and dreams are gone. So we play here first because it's a forcing move. Hane and the stones die. Only Black completely disagrees and further reduces White. So we kill off the left-hand stones. They were given up. Except they weren't given up because it's a freaking co. White locks them out. Black connects up, saves is dead. White defends. We go back into endgame. Going back into endgame. Uh, connect, go back into endgame, save our stones, threaten to uh, capture, no captures today, sir, no extra points today, sir, not stealing my points today, sir. Going back into pokey 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 just just run of the mill standard end game honey up top looks like it's gonna be not sente thank you very much because whoops sorry do 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 because the Atari doesn't go anywhere. So we retake. End game it. End game it. More end games. Sente, sente, sente. Always important. Get those last two points on in. White takes. Black takes. Gonna go ahead and force that, but not before we do this one, of course. Now it goes to scoring, where white wins by 6.5. So, it's true. Cho wasn't chicken. He kill you dead. You don't defend your group. He kill you dead. But Shibano... Shibano don't care. 
Shabana will just develop and somehow magically win the game. Even though massive murder was take was carried out. In the first game we had the same thing. Person tried to go aggressive, tried to be murder, and that person lost game. This game, same thing. Tried to murder, succeeded, still lost game. So sometimes murder just don't pay. What what else can you say, man? Sometimes murder just doesn't pay. Especially against good old Shibano. He will find a way to give you 35 of his stones and still win the game. Seems fine to me. This game, to be honest, was more, was reminiscent of a Li Cheng Ho game. An old Li Cheng Ho game. One of those old, I'll give you exactly what you want and I'm still gonna win kind of games. Kind of crazy. You want 35 of my stones? Take them. Now I win on Komi. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Love Shibano style. 